Hola clase, hoy damos inicio a la unidad número 3, Puerto Rico. With its 270 mile stretch of sunny white sand beaches all year long, Puerto Rico is one of the most touristed islands in the Caribbean. Images of fit, tan, sun hat wearing, rum sipping locals are often emblematic of the territory. Though recently most headlines and images have been much more austere, calling Puerto Rico the grease of the Western Hemisphere. So what's the deal with Puerto Rico? What's life really like for its people? Well, culturally, they are more influenced by Hispanic and Afro-Caribbean than mainland U.S. culture, even though the island is part of the U.S. Commonwealth. 95% of people speak Spanish at home, the country's first official language, and about 9 out of 10 people are Roman Catholic. At parties, it's common to see people dancing to reggaeton, jibaro, and salsa, and eating the traditional sofrito and mofongo. But despite this and its warm climate all year long, life is not always festive. The vast majority live in densely populated urban areas, often accompanied by power outages and high rates of violence, homicide, and unemployment when compared to the U.S. These are just some of the reasons why Puerto Rico's people are leaving en masse, particularly young professionals. Despite some of its shortcomings though, nearly all Puerto Ricans are literate and about 20% obtain a bachelor's degree, creating a situation where people have skills that their home has no demands for. It was a challenge to find a job in Puerto Rico, says a university graduate who left, explaining that unfortunately finding work in government can be challenging, especially since it's the island's main source of employment. So if you're a young adult and can't or don't want to go into Puerto Rico's public sector or heavy tourism industry, you'll probably be headed for a U.S. state like New York. In fact, there are actually more Puerto Ricans living off the island than on it, about 4.6 million compared to 3.6 on the territory. But wherever they end up, they maintain their Puerto Rican identity. Indeed, even those who are born outside of the island refer to themselves as Puerto Ricanos or Boricuas, not American. And when they speak of their country, they're typically referring to the island and not the U.S. mainland. But this mass exodus has a strange effect back home. The majority of people in Puerto Rico are either old or under 25 years of age. Many of them rely on public assistance or loans, often coming from the United States, which has contributed to their current economic situation. Still, for all the talk we hear of their imminent economic demise, they rank highly on measures of global GDP, have long life expectancies, high educational attainment, and to top it off, Puerto Ricans are some of the happiest people in the world, ranking in the top three of some global surveys. So what do you think? Is Puerto Rico headed for economic despair? I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments below. And to watch a video on whether Puerto Rico should become its own state, check out this episode from our sister channel, Testum News. Bye guys. Whether you're a sun seeker, adventurer, or you enjoy art and culture, this island has it all. Here are my 10 Travelista Treasures of Puerto Rico. Number 10. Go for a hike in El Junque National Park. It is the only tropical rainforest in the United States National Forest System. It is also home to the indigenous Koki tree frogs and a few trees that produce the beautifully scented Ylang Ylang flowers used in perfumes like Chanel No. 5. Number 9. Have lunch in La Placita at Chef Jose Enrique's restaurant. This well-known restaurant is relatively casual, but is known to have some of the best food on the island. Here, award-winning chef Jose Enrique brings his master culinary skills to enrich traditional Puerto Rican dishes. You know, it's hard to get a restaurant in a place better than this. When you have the market right there, you can go daily and just, I can get my avocados, I can also see like, oh, fresh passion fruit came in or fresh guavas came in, which helps out because my menu's on a board. So whatever comes in fresh, that's what goes on there. So it's like, as far as me making recipes, it's whatever comes in fresh. Number eight, shop in El Mercado in La Placita. This quaint fruit and vegetable market has some hidden gems. I met a medicine man named Hector Ruiz Hosler, who has a wealth of knowledge on how to heal all sorts of ailments the natural way. Number seven, have a cafecito at Cafe Cuatro Sombras. This cafe is located in Old San Juan 
and has the richest, most authentic Puerto Rican coffee in town. Number six, visit Casa Cortez. Indulge your senses in fine chocolate and fine art at Casa Cortez Choco Bar in Old San Juan. Number five, go to Piñones for authentic Puerto Rican street food. East of Centurce, Piñones is the place to go for street food, a laid back atmosphere, and more street food, the fried delicious kind. Number four, visit the Botanical Gardens. Puerto Rico has an amazing biodiverse climate that lends itself to an environment perfect for fragrant flowers, lush gardens, and magnificent bay rum trees. A visit to the Botanical Gardens is a perfect way to experience the island's lushness. Number three, stay on Condado Beach. My pick is the San Juan Marriott Resort and Casino. It's a quick drive from the airport, has breathtaking views, is steps away from the beach, and has amazing service. Number two, have a bioluminescence experience. Puerto Rico has three bioluminescent bays which contain millions of microorganisms called dinoflagellates that glow fluorescently in the dark when agitated. Number one, explore the beaches. Puerto Rico is blessed with beautiful beaches around the entire island. Just a few steps away from my room at the San Juan Marriott is Condado Beach, the most famous beach on the island and my happy place. For more of my Travelista treasures, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow the fun on social media at Travelista Terry. Puerto Rico's relationship with the United States is a complicated one, which means Americans often get Puerto Rico all wrong. One of the biggest misconceptions is that Puerto Rico is its own country or that it is an American state. The island's official name, Free Associated State of Puerto Rico, adds to the confusion, but it's actually neither. The island is a commonwealth of the United States. For practical purposes, this means anyone born in Puerto Rico is automatically a U.S. citizen, and that the island is governed by the President of the U.S. as their Commander-in-Chief. Though it does elect its own governor as second in command and has a local constitution. Which brings us to another related misconception, that Puerto Ricans can't vote in U.S. elections. As individuals, they actually can, unless they file for Puerto Rican residency status. But that is their choice. The default is that they are U.S. citizens who can vote. Though as a territory, the island lacks equal representation in Congress and the Electoral College, so their voice is often muted. Speaking of which, many Americans believe Puerto Ricans don't speak English, but about half of the islanders speak the language at some level, and it's one of the two official languages. The other is Spanish, not some unique Puerto Rican Spanish-like language as some Americans like to believe. Though they may use unique words, intonations, and inflections, it's still just Spanish. Another stereotype is that people are mostly of African descent, but Puerto Ricans overwhelmingly identify as white, and fewer than 20% could actually genetically trace their ancestry back to Africa, though this African influence is very much a part of their culture. When Puerto Ricans leave the island, it's easy for Americans to assume they'll end up living in New York and are hoping for a career in professional baseball. Two pretty common, but untrue, stereotypes. Though the largest population does reside in New York. But Florida is a close second, and the majority of Puerto Ricans are actually scattered throughout the U.S. And obviously, very few people, period, play professional baseball. While definitely prominent, Puerto Rico's presence is dwarfed by the Dominican Republic and Venezuela, who have more than twice as many professional players. When Americans visit the island, many are surprised to find that it's not as tropical and rural as they expected, with many American-style malls, pizza shops, and densely populated streets. It is also a major player in pharmaceutical and textile manufacturing, and by many measures, Puerto Rico is the most competitive economy in the Caribbean. To find out what Americans get wrong about Cuba, click here. And to find out what life is really like for people growing up in Puerto Rico, check out my other video here. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and please subscribe.